I can make a case he's definitely already top 30. I can even make another case top 30? he's on the fringe of top 20 in the NBA no right way. here, right no now. No way. No way, okay. Skip. You ought to be ashamed. What What are we watching? I think, he's, I think you can make an argument. Here are the 19 guys he will not be better than in the NBA as a rookie. He will not be better than the list. LeBron, Harden, George, Kawhi, Embiid, Curry, Giannis, Durant, Damian, Booker, AD, Chris Paul, Luka Doncic, Jokic, Kyrie, Clay, Ben, Butler, Kemba. What's going on, everybody? If you haven't already, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe as well. Now, man, this is why I hate sport networks, especially anything with Skip Bayless, because they be saying some stupid ass shit like this, calling Zion a top 20 player or top 30, 50, 100, whatever the hell it was. Now, Skip's not the only one who said this. Colin Coward, or however you say his name is, said the same thing, calling him a top 20 player too. But you know what? That doesn't even surprise me, coming from these analysts who never play sports on that close of a level and only look at numbers. But Paul Pierce, however, a former NBA player, Hall of Famer, and Celtic legend, said Zion is a top 50 player already. That's what I'm most disappointed in, that a former NBA legend would say something like this. I don't know where to start to be honest, but this is the exact problem with the NBA media or the host of these sport talk shows. Now let me not get it twisted, is there a chance that Zion could be a top 50 player in the world or maybe a hundred? I can't disprove that, I just can't and I don't think anybody can for that matter. But can someone please tell me why are we jumping to the conclusion he is when he's playing college basketball and he has yet to even play a single game at any professional level? You just can't compare these NBA players to someone who has yet to even make it to that level of basketball. That's just idiotic. Sure, he's dominated college basketball and is the best college player in the world, but the NBA isn't college. It's a new game with new competition, and because Zion has not reached that level yet, why would I rank him amongst other NBA players who's playing a different game? You see what I mean? And this is the sad part, already declaring him a top 20 player in the NBA when he's still in college, if he doesn't meet these unrealistic expectations his rookie year when he's only 19, is he what, a bust? Now a disappointment? This is why I don't like when we go completely out of line and hype up a player coming into the NBA because idiots out there put unrealistic expectations on players when they've yet to even showcase their talent on that stage that matters, the NBA. Now could he be a top 20 player in the future? Yeah, I'll bet shit ton of money on that in fact, but talk to me a year from now when he's already played almost a full season in the NBA, not when he's not even done with his freshman year in college. I want to hear your guys' thoughts on this, so leave a comment down below. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, and I'll see you guys later.